People will burn the midnight oil on PowerPoint slides and speeches and they'll get worried about those and then they'll just walk in and have a conversation with a boss that changes the course of their entire professional life on the fly. Or a discussion with a spouse over a problem that they know is simmering and will they'll have it without any kind of practice. The great deception of communication, interpersonal communication, is that we don't have to think about it because we do it all the time. And yet, none, almost none of us would do any kind of public presentation without preparing for that. The one thing that my wife says that I did have an influence on is that she thought I was crazy when we first started dating and I said, you should prepare for important conversations. And she said, no, that's nuts. Why would I do that? And she started watching the phone calls that I would get from people calling me when it's too late. You call me after something is blown up, I say, look, I'm sorry, but you don't need me. You need, you know, <laughs> a little divorce lawyer or something. <laughs> because the damage is already in. But you before, if you think through something, much greater chance. There's a whole chapter in here called Don't Listen to Your Telltale Heart. That telltale heart from Edgar Allan Poe, it's telling you you don't need to prepare. Don't listen to Tumlin. What does he know? <laughs> I can have this conversation with this client, with this person, with my husband and so forth. That telltale heart is leading you into a very difficult conversation without the kind of preparation that may make a big difference. Stop rehearsing the wrong stuff. Start spending more time on big interpersonal conversations that might matter more.